All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at Near Future Solar, which is the next part in our little mini series, Having a Gander at Near Future Technologies, which of course is being made by forum user Near T. And I gotta say, I'm excited for this one today, as well, I've got a thing for solar panels. They are wonderful pieces of green technology, and I love them. Now, don't get me wrong, in the last episode, when we looked at near future electrical and the beautiful nuclear reactors that are in there those are pieces that i use all the time but unfortunately they are rather large bulky and just weigh a ton literally in many cases and so sometimes on a lot of the missions i do i prefer something in a smaller form factor that's a lot lighter and don't always want to have an additional resource, of course, that being the refined uranium. So, in come solar panels to produce all of your electrical needs, provided, of course, <laughs> you have view of the sun. So let's go right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what all we do get in this particular solar panel mod. And let's grab a Mark 1-2 command pod, as well as a fuel tank, as a couple of these solar panels do benefit from a nice rounded structure to put them on, and head down to the electrical tab, where we will find a whole lot of new solar panels that just make me happy. And we'll start up at the top and work our way down, the first being the KRK 1x4 concentrating photovoltaic panels now uh boy all these names are long so i'm going to kind of stick to the first few words of it but yes there we go this one right here will produce you seven electric charge per second and thankfully does have some built-in tracking so you don't have to worry about ship position and if we pop that on there and just extend it is a lovely and very useful little solar panel which will provide you with some good electricity now not a whole lot only again seven per second but that should be enough for most operations of small missions now the next one we have i'm actually going to take a look at the one by four next which is the krq one by four which should be noted cannot be retracted once it is out it is out for good so remember that before you say potentially retract it and then remember oh yeah i have to go back into the atmosphere this is a one-time opening and that that is it now it will produce a pretty decent little amount of electricity at eight per second so a little bit more than the previous panel it does have the built-in tracking but again, as a reminder, cannot be retracted. It is there for good, but a beautiful looking texture on it. Very, very nice indeed. Now the next one we have here is the 1x3, or the KRX 1x3, which produces only a tiny amount of electricity at five per second. Again, built in tracking, and again, cannot be retracted. So <laughs> yeah, once it's out, it's out. But there we go, lovely little solar panel. It seems to have be upside down from the others but there we go <laughs> lovely little solar panel indeed now the next one we'll have a look at here is the krsl solo which produces a well quite a bit more electricity at 30 per second has built-in tracking and is rather large let's zoom out a little bit there and extend there we go a beautiful little solar panel i do love on this one specifically the sort of uh central structure it looks nice and strong that it would give it a good support for the solar panel and just to me i, I like detailing like that it looks quite cool in my opinion but yes overall a beautiful solar panel with some pretty decent electric charge now the next one we're gonna have a look at here is a <laughs> krml trio which effectively is three of these slapped together to produce 90 electric charge per second of course again built-in tracking and if we pop that there turn this way and zoom out a bit and then extend there we go again it is just three of these slapped together but once more, I like the sort of center column. It looks good and sturdy. And you can see that it pops out quite a bit from that uh, sort of central support there, right near the body. Overall, very cool design. I really do enjoy this thing. Now, the next one we have is the KRXL Megalodor. And this one will produce a 55 electric charge. And again, 
must be stressed, cannot be retracted. And this one's actually kind of a big one, which kind of uh, bothers me that it cannot be retracted. But yeah, once this thing's out, it's out for good. I can kind of understand with smaller ones for probes, but I don't know. Lar the larger the solar panel gets, it kind of weirds me out when they can't be retracted. But that, that may just be me being, well, frankly, weird. But again, a very cool solar panel, very good central support to it, which I, I don't know. It's just, again, the little tiny things like that that I enjoy. Overall, very nice thing. Now the next one is, well, part of the reason why we did get the rounded fuel tank here, and that is the NIV-18 Curved Solar Array. Now this will produce a 30 electric charge per second, and as you can see, fits quite nicely around a curved 2.5 meter spot. Or, well, part, rather, that'd be a much better word for that. And yes, it's just a nice little array of uh, solar panels there, which is quite cool. And of course, if you do the four times symmetry, it will go around the entirety of the ship, which is always fun to do. Now the next part is another curved one, the NIV-3 Curved Solar Array, which only does a 10 electric charge per second, and as you can see, is just a much smaller version. Now this one, you either go with one of them or three of them to go all the way around, and oh, actually, well, that's actually kind of oddly shaped. I guess that one would be better used on a larger piece, though I don't know. I actually kind of like that shape on the 2.5 meter. But yes, it is kind of a, an awkward part, I guess, for the 2.5. But overall, another fun thing for any curved vessel. And then the next part we have is the OKEB 100 Blanket Photovoltaic Array. Again, cannot be retracted and will produce a hundred electric charge per second. And it's getting into a big one. Let's go back to the single symmetry there. And we're going to have to zoom out a little bit for this one. And extend. There we go. A beautiful array of solar panels producing again a hundred electric charge. So very, very cool. Very useful for your space stations. Overall, it's just a lovely, nice little thing. Though to me, does look a bit more flimsy than some of the others. But hey, again, with the not being retracted, that's kind of, I guess, part of the reason. Now the next one we have, <laughs> you remember when I said that the reactors were too big and bulky and that I like a smaller form factor? Yeah, this I don't consider a smaller form factor. This is the OKEB 500, which produces 500 electric charge per second. Again, cannot be retracted. And this thing, oh boy, oh boy. We gotta, we're gonna have to zoom out more here. It is big, it is very big. And there we go. It's giant. <laughs> Imagine having these on your space station. It could basically provide most of the electrical charge you'll ever need, again, at 500 per second. That is a lot for a solar array, and it's just massive. Which this one, you know, huh, I know I said that I, I've, I feel that it's weird the bigger they are that they can't retract, but you know what? Now looking at this giant one, I'm rethinking my own idea there. Something this size would probably be a lot more difficult to retract than something smaller. So there we go. I've changed my mind on an idea here live, folks. There we are. But overall, a beautiful solar panel. Gigantic. Perfect for a space station. Now we then have the normal solar panels in the game. And then we have a few more extras. A PX Stat 1x2 Photovoltaic Trust which is quite cool. It kind of sticks out from the side of the ship on those little truss uh, bits, I guess is the best way to describe it. <laughs> it will produce a four electric charge per second, but with its, uh, you know, sort of going off the side of the ship, you can make some pretty interesting designs or at least make your ship look a bit more interesting with them uh, poking out like that. We also do have the PX Stat 1x4, which is a larger version, and it has 8 electric charge per second. And there we go, we'll just pop it right there. Again, sort of sticks out from the side as a truss, and it's just a cool looking thing. Very, very nice solar panels. Uh, the next one we have, I think, is my favorite solar panel of all solar panels. I use this one quite a lot in my own personal games because I use some other mods that add in things like rotating ring habitation sections, and I love using this solar panel, the SOL-A Expanding Curved Solar Array, 
on whenever I have those rotating sections. Now what this is, is a curved bit which popped on there, doesn't look like much, but when extended, as you can see, goes out and creates part of a curve. Now of course, if you go to four symmetry and redo it there, it'll create a full circle of solar power and it each one of them will produce 20 electric charge so of course with all of these on there that'd be 80 but granted i mean not all of these are of course going to be facing the sun at the same time considering well it's a ring but yeah i love putting these things like in on either side of a rotating ring section to kind of sandwich it in i don't know why but that's just the aesthetic i usually go for and it's fun and so let's pop that off and get to the last few solar panels here this one the t225 1x5 which will produce 22 per second cannot be retracted does have tracking and well, if we actually go back to just the single there we go pop that out and excellent just another design of an extendable solar panel for you to use quite good design and the next one is the t65 1x5 which will produce 14 per second cannot be retracted which is most of these now that i'm thinking about it very few of these can be retracted extend that out very very nice little thing just a simple solar panel that goes out and the final one is one of the more interesting solar panels we have here and that is the yf-1 circular array which will produce eight electric charge can actually be retracted if you need which is always nice and has the built-in tracking and this, if we extend, pops up and then has that lovely little circular array. Very cool design. I love all of them, frankly. I am a big fan of all of these things, especially though the, <laughs> the 500 here. That is perfect for a space station. If you need power, that's, that's, that's your thing right there. It is awesome. And yes, this is all the parts for Near Future Solar, so let's actually go to the tracking station where I have built a monstrosity in space. Oh my, it's, I think, one of the weirdest and just ugliest things I've ever built because I decided to fit all of the solar panels onto this thing. Every solar panel that is in this mod, I have shoved onto this monstrosity. Now let's actually uh, go back to the map view real quick so we can be in light for a little bit longer. Oh, no, I need to go to graphical here. And let's bring it around. Yeah, there we go to sunrise, perfect. And we'll do radial out, there we go. And yes, this is, well, frankly, a monstrosity. <laughs> we have two of the giant uh, Okeb 500s. We've got the smaller Okeb 100 there. What was that the name? Yes, the Okeb 100. And yeah, just taking up most of the room of the entire planet and just friggin' dwarfs it. We've got the fun little circular bit around the top. We've got... Oh, God, just look inside all of the different solar panels. I don't know why I decided to shove them all onto an ugly space station, but I did. And here they all are for your enjoyment. I'm sure if you, know, you actually build a real ship, space station, probe, or satellite, you could use any one of these much, much prettier and nicely made than what I've created here. But, you know, to give you an idea and so you can see all of them actually in action in space... If that that works for you. <laughs> Again, I really, really don't know why I created this. I should have created something nice looking that you could go and look at and say, ooh, ah, there's a beautiful idea of how to use some of those solar panels. But no, I decided to create a monster. But you know what? It's a monster that will frankly never run out of power. So <laughs> if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely would suggest that you go and do, uh, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. It is an invaluable part of the overall near future technology series. I use this thing all the time for my probes, landers, all sorts of things. Anytime basically that it's just too bulky for using a nuclear reactor, I go with these things. Or, of course, if I have a space station, well, I'm using these giant Okeb 500s because 
they'll do the job and they'll do the job quite well. Uh, but yes, definitely go check out this mod, have fun with it, enjoy all the beautiful new solar panels, and uh, of course, if you have enjoyed this video today, I've, if you, I hope you, wow, I'm really flubbing this ending, aren't I? Let's try that again. If you've enjoyed this video today, I do hope that you'll come back for the next one, where we are going to be looking at near future construction and all the cool stuff you can do with that. Lots of new trusses, etc. Very cool pack. And of course, if you would like to help support the channel, you can have a look at my Patreon page, link in the description and also on the end slate. Or of course, you can always also join the community and myself in our new Discord server to have a chat. Always fun as well, link in description. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go, I don't know, maybe deorbit this thing in so to watch it all fall apart. Later, folks.